Hello everyone, so we're halfway through the test of the week for Miss Quids using the Raspberry Pi 4 as a desktop computer. Now I'm sure there's been uh, quite a lot of complaints about the audio quality, so we've gone back to using the camera in my room, my main setup. Of course we don't know about this at this point because uh, we've only had one video go up and actually if you're watching it on YouTube, um, none of the videos have gone up yet, so we will have completed the series by the time you watch it. <laughs> so how have you found it so far? Yeah, it's been uh, it's been an interesting experience. So so far we've tried Raspberry OS and then Manjaro ARM for the Raspberry Pi four. Um, mm. In both cases, uh, definite lagging issues, mm. um, definite performance issues. Uh, it hasn't been too great so far, to be honest. No, no, uh, Manjaro, I was very disappointed with mm. like you liked the look of it yeah but speed oh yeah it was horrific i mean starting with raspberry os and knowing that that's more designed for education and things like that and understanding okay maybe it's pushing it a bit to be playing higher mm. quality youtube videos and that kind of thing but then going to another operating system which you'd think would be able to handle it a bit better and mm. it just didn't <laughs> no. and I suppose we've got to highlight the point that we know the Raspberry Pi is not necessarily designed for this purpose. We, we know it can play videos. It's got H.264 hardware decoding in it. That's fine. But this is not the point. This is not going to be your main use of a system. And I don't know if anyone's sort of thinking they're defending it for that. Yes, we know it's for that purpose. But your main use case is web stuff, It's effectively it? using it as a netbook. <laughs> It's just not not even for doing heavy scientific stuff, not for doing, no. just for being able to handle playing videos, doing some web browsing, that kind of thing. Yeah, playing videos, YouTube, um, Channel 4, which yeah, yes. we've still not got that work in DRM issues, so we've got to look into that more. Uh, but yeah, YouTube and um, yeah, and uh, like just looking at basic web pages. Oh, Facebook, um, recipes, <laughs> recipes, yes, <laughs> the weather, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not nothing too overly complicated. Mm. You know, I'd think this would be the sort of things that a Raspberry Pi can do. Mm. Um, I suppose what hasn't helped is when we're trying to show the recording and trying to give an idea of the performance because doing the video recordings on the Pi just it. It takes a lot of CPU power to do a recording. Actually, I'm just going to show like an example of this. So, looking at my system with KSysGuard, we've got seven percent of the CPU going to the screen recording and two percent going to the webcam, and that sounds like nothing much at all. And when we look at the overall performance here, this CPU has been barely dented at all. But then we're comparing. Uh, this is an eight-core dual-threaded CPU, and I'm trying to think what the speed is, but it's over three gigahertz. So. Yeah, th this is barely dented. You know, whereas you compare the Raspberry Pi 4, which is, I think, was it 1.5 gigahertz quad core, no extra threading on it. So, yeah, there, there's obviously a massive difference there from what the CPUs can do. And I didn't know whether there was a factor with the memory card. I don't think the memory card we had um, for Manjaro was the best one I've got, but it's a class 10 memory card. But then we opened a program I thought would be relatively unaffected, the webcam viewer. So in my mind, that would be taking the video from the USB, it would be the compressed video, and then showing it on the screen, which, I don't know what you think, that would have very little interaction with the drive. Yeah, yeah, but, because it's just taking the feed from an I.O. device as opposed to from the hard disk. Although, yeah. you know, you can be argued that the hard, the, yeah. The hard disk is an I.O. device, as is the as is the webcam. But in mm. terms of where it's actually coming from, it's not having to do the reads. No. Uh, and it's a USB 2 camera. It wouldn't make a difference when plugging it into mm. USB 3. I know it has USB 3 and USB 2 ports, but uh, the camera you're viewing us on here is a USB 3 camera. So yes, that would make a difference mm. there. But mm. the older one is not, it's a USB 2. Because uh, at that time when the Logitech C910 camera came out, there I don't think there were any USB 3 cameras. Or they were few and far between. Mm. So yeah, that, that struggled to get... That wouldn't even do one frame a second in Manjaro. Mm. That, that was just awful. We couldn't really show it. 
uh, and it was all weird glitched on the light as well. So I don't know what was going on there, mm. but that was really bad. But um, yeah, the, the opening programs was a bit lagging initially, worse with Manjaro, but um, uh, Raspberry Pi OS, I don't think that was as bad. Mm. But I suppose but we're going to mention what's coming next. We, we've tried the next one, Ubuntu Mate. Now that's been a considerable improvement. Yeah. Massive improvement. <laughs> yeah, I can actually open multiple programs. I mean, from the get-go, there's been absolutely no kind of lagging. I would say the only situation where we saw any improve, any performance impact was on trying to record a video, um, at which point it's kind of like the mouse cursor froze and yeah. then I had to try and move it to try and close the, the program. Uh, but apart from that, I mean, as soon as it was closed, it went back to normal and it was all yeah. really, really nice and responsive. So, mm. yeah, no problems with, with that scene so far. Um, mm. And of course, another thing we've seen is um, a kind of negative that we saw originally with Raspberry OS was getting the audio working, which was yeah. which was it improved in... Um, what's it called it's again? Manjaro. <laughs> Manjaro. <laughs> Get the name of it. It's, it's a weird yeah. one, I know. Um, <laughs> yeah. Which was, yeah, trying to get a, trying to get the audio working in Raspberry OS just didn't work so yeah. well, and then that was improved in Manjaro. Um, looking at Mate now, uh, yeah, it's about. I mean, it's not as easy as as opening the setting and clicking the the radio button, but at the same time, it was a quick search, able to find one command, yeah. and type it in, and it works. So. Yeah, hmm. it's not as bad, but yeah, it's certainly not click and point and click. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. uh, I, I'm intrigued at trying. I think I, think I might try Kubuntu mm. on it, Kubuntu desktop, and, and this is a weird build up with um, Ubuntu twenty oh four. So the only image available is Ubuntu server. So I, I'm going to give I'll give a lot of leeway here to Ubuntu Mate because it's not an official release we're using. So yes, there will be bugs. There's been a couple of crashes already, but nothing too drastic. And there's programs missing that should be there. Mm. But So I can accept that. I'm, I'm not criticising them for that point. So, but we're just looking at performance of what is there and what we can use. So yeah, we'll accept that as it is. Uh, I might try Kubuntu like, on the final day because uh, I think as I mentioned earlier on in the series that there's not a lot of choice for the Raspberry Pi 4. It's just not all the OS is built for it. And uh, we did actually try Chromium OS, mm. but it didn't even work. <laughs> like it literally showed like the boot screen and, and that was it. <laughs> it, it got nowhere. Yeah. So yeah, we can't even show it. There's nothing there. Uh, and we're not, I'm not interested in showing something like Libra Lec, although I know that would work, but that's not going to be what you'd want to use. Yeah. We, we use Libra Lec down on the, um, Home Theater PC. Mm -hmm. It's great. It's a good program. But won't be for you. Because it's not going to have a web browser. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be good for playing games and uh, watching videos. Anyway, I think some uh, final thoughts with Manjaro. Uh, so we're looking at uh, YouTube. So we'll show a bit of the performance of it. Uh, so 1080 struggled with. Yeah. 4K, no chance. So um, so I tried out YouTube um, playing Big Buck Bunny. Um, so I think we started off, I think the default it loads in is 480 and the full sound was fine. And then I put it up immediately to 4K, that just, no. 10, to, well, down a couple of settings to 1080, still no. I think 720 I was okay mm. with um, in terms of while, while it was recording. Um, I mean, still able to do the seeks and it's responding okay and it plays and looks okay. Um, and then we actually looked at the same video, but I downloaded it separately. And uh, and in that case, that was, uh, I think that was 1080, it was full HD. Yeah. Um, that worked well, that worked fine in terms of actually running it from uh, the Pi itself. Um, and... Uh, yeah, didn't see any problems with that one. No, I think that was where I was able to use the H.264 hardware decoding, hmm. which, yeah, that would be a dramatic improvement on performance, uh, and that was fine. Which, again, we're not going to criticise it for that, but mm. it's just interesting to see the difference. Yeah. 
I haven't tried a 4K video with it. I just realised that. With what? With the Pi. We haven't tried a 4K downloading no, we video. Haven't. No. I think the only ones I've got though would be on the NAS, so uh, we'd have to uh, do that either SSH or um, NFS because mm. they're 20, 30 gig large, which <laughs> was going to take yeah. a while to get it on there. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we could try that out, but again, that's that's kind of not going to be how you're watching it though. We'd be watching those on Libre Lec on the Home Theater PC. Mm. Yeah. I don't know what the point would be. <laughs> it's not going to be for what you try. Yeah. If we do it, we do it. Yeah, so I also tried some uh, web browsing, uh, just having a look around Quids's website. And as you can see, there were no issues there, just with a um, normal kind of static content. It was fine. Um, downloading images, etc. No issues there. Um, and also played a bit of the game of a game. Uh, so I had to download that because there were no games pre-installed so uh, on Manjaro and so uh, yeah, had to play around with that. So yeah, it's interesting to see where where the performance is kind of lacking or where it's better. So it's, I don't know, it's quite inconsistent. <laughs> I mean, sometimes mm. it lags when you have things open and other times... Um, when you have one thing open and it kind of get use gets used to it, then it's okay. Yeah, yes. Yeah, I think again that's probably part. I think that's part of its caching, mm. um, which has got plenty of memory there to cache with eight gig. Mm. It's good. I've had a quick read up about NVMe drives on the Raspberry Pis, but uh, I think what would spoil it though is with that case, there's going to be no way of. Um, actually put the NVMe drive there and I think I'm not sure is it connect via USB in which case that's only going to go as fast as the USB mm. bus which you know, could be quicker than the micro SD I'm not sure that would suit really but whether that would improve performance but all, all I can think is um, so far that the memory far outweighs the uh, CPU mm. <laughs> it's a bit unbalanced there for me yeah Anyway, that was day four. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you all later.